What's up you guys, Thomas here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to bypass jailbreak detection on Uncover or Check Rain on iOS 13 and 13.5. And I'm going to actually be showing you two methods. And the first one is a little bit complex, but it works on almost every single app. So make sure to watch the entire video. Okay, so to bypass jailbreak detection is pretty easy. But first, I'm just going to show you an example of what jailbreak detection is. So I have this app right here, Direct TV, and when I open it, it actually has jailbreak detection. So my screen will just turn black and stay black. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways to bypass jailbreak detection. The first is using a tweak called Kern Bypass. And to install this, you actually need a package manager that can open .deb files. I'll use Zebra and you'll need a version of mobile terminal. I'm using new term. The repo is in the description. So you're going to need to open up this GitHub page to actually download Kern Bypass. And once you scroll down on here, you should see installation and download and just tap the download button and tap download one more time and open up the .deb file by clicking the share button and opening it up with your package manager. Here you can click install and it will queue and you'll just open up your queue and confirm the install and wait for it to install and then you can respring your device. And unlike most tweaks, once your device respring's, you actually need to do a little bit of setup. So the first step that you'll need to take is to actually set up which apps it's going to bypass the jailbreak detection. So you're going to go and open up settings. And in settings, you can scroll down and you'll see Kern Bypass where all your other tweaks are. And you're just going to click on it. And you're going to enable applications. And I just switched on DirecTV to bypass the jailbreak detection in DirecTV. Now you're going to need to open up your mobile terminal app and you're going to need to type in SU, which will give you access to the root user and hit enter. And it will ask you for the root password, which by default on iPhones is just Alpine. So you'll type it in and you'll hit enter and here you'll see your iPhone name slash var slash mobile slash root. Now you're going to go back to the GitHub page and let me just load it up. And here you see setting up current bypass. So you're just going to copy change root FS and the and sign and uh, don't forget the and sign as it says and just paste it into mobile terminal. And you're going to run that. And then there's one more command in GitHub, disown percent one. So you're going to copy that and paste it into mobile terminal. And then you're going to run that. And now you're basically done. So the tweak is now activated. And if I go and open up uh, direct TV, you should see that since we bypassed the jailbreak, the app will just open up like normal. And while I did have no problems with this current bypass tweak, uh, on the GitHub, the developer has listed a warning. The tweak runs at kernel level and you run it at your own risk, but I had no problems. Anyways, since all apps use a different version of jailbreak detection, if that bypass didn't work, then you're going to try another tweak called Liberty Light. So this is available on a lot of repos, uh, but I'm downloading it from the Ken Tao repo, which has the Vietnamese version, uh, but any version works. So you're just going to install it. And I'll also include the repo in the description and just let it install, respring your device and just go into settings. There you'll see Liberty light. And it, as I said, it's in Vietnamese, but you know, you can kind of tell, you know, you enable which apps you want. And then you of course should enable it on the general Liberty light setting. So let me just go back here. As you can see, it's enabled and then it should just work. All right, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it worked out for you. Uh, if it did, definitely leave a like. And if you got any questions, uh, drop them down below in the comments section and I'll reply. Uh, have a great day and enjoy your jailbreak.